rectangular laminar problem same problem okay see rectangle here you have to understand they given first rectangle 25 to 35 30 mm rest on hp on one of its shorter edge so here 35 20 mm so which is the shorter this 20 is the shorter so you have to place 20 mm here okay so second second sentence the lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rest till it appear as a square in the top view okay so first you have to construct rectangle then you have to rotate the rectangle lamina if you rotate at up to a certain angle this rectangle look like a square in the top view that angle you have to find out okay after that edge on which it rest is being parallel to both the plane okay so edge means 20 mm we have placed so this 20 mm is parallel to both the plane so draw the projection and find the inclination with hp and vp okay so very interesting problem shall concept here so first we can we can take 20 because they given 20 is the shorter okay 20 and then 35 is given so you take 35 and this side you take 35 okay so next you join this okay then do the naming this is a b c d so draw projection line upward drop projection line upward okay so here if you do the naming you'll get a dash and d dash this is b dash and c dash okay so this is a visible line so make it visible okay then show the dimension so this is your 20 and this is your 35 so this will be rectangle okay so if you rotate the this lamina of the rectangle to a certain angle here it looks like a square so first you construct a square 2020 square okay so 2020 square so you may be getting get out whether you need to take 20 or 35 so you have to take 20 because you have placed the resting side is 20 so that's why you have to take 2020 square okay you can't able to take 35 square so this is square 20 a b c d okay so draw the projection line upward draw the projection line upward so you take extend this to infinite line because we require to cut an arc so this is your a dash and d dash okay i don't know where you get the c dash and b dash so measure this measure this length then from the point A you cut an arc okay so this point is your B dash and C dash so join these two lines join this two point and find out the angle so this angle is inclined to HP okay so find out the angle how much you will get around you are getting you know around you are getting 55 okay so inclination with with HP is 55 degree okay so what is the next is you have to make resting side is parallel to both the side resting side is what 20 so means A and D is parallel to X Y line so make A and D A and D means what 20 20 right so I will take 20 this side I will take 20 join this and join it ok so resting side is A and D is the resting side so I will take A, C and B ok extend the projection line upward so up to where so up to the final point ok so from here also extend it and draw projection line from here ok so this is your a dash point and this is your d dash point and this is your b dash point and this is your c dash point okay then complete it
with a visible line. Okay, so now you can say, so this is parallel to x y line. Okay, nah? so this counted. So you have to find out the inclination with V P. So you already find out inclination with H P. So you don't have to find out inclination with V P now. So you take x one and you take y one. So draw forty five degree line. Draw forty five degree line. Then extend the projection line this side. Okay, and extend the projection line this side. Okay, na? Then extend it upward. So here also extend it upward. Okay, and extend the projection line from this side. Clear. So where you will get the point A and D? So this is your A double dash and D double dash. Next, this point is your B double dash and C double dash. So now join. these two okay so this is already 55 degrees there so this will be your 35 degree okay so inclination with with vp is 35 degree okay thank you